there was a tragic event on August 9th, 1969, that everybody remembers the, the Sharon Tate house. It was on CLL Drive. Well, it was 150 CLL Drive, I think it was. Awful, awful. Was the oh. house was originally owned by the producer, Terry Melcher, who yeah. did a lot of the Beach Boys records, Doris yeah. Day, I think. Doris Day's son. Son, that's right. And um, it was his house. And then I guess Sharon Tate and Roman Polanski were renting the house. Now, mm -hmm. did you ever, did, was it rumored that you lived there? At, not uh, with uh, them, but at one at that address ever? I, you know, that, that house was built by a French actress, Michelle Morgan, M-O-R-G-A-N. And which it's uh, in your book, you talk about this yeah, too. Yeah, because she, she had a Hollywood career as well. And so she built, there was the, the main house and then the, a pool, and then there was a guest house in the back. And, and I uh, rented the guest house to begin with. Henry Fonda had been in that guest house just before me. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. And he was, a, he was an artist. He was a painter. I remember there was a still life. It was still on an easel. That, uh, but uh, so I rented the, uh, the guest house. And then the, the main house came available. I can't remember how that happened. And when it did, I moved in, into, into the, the bigger house. It was really too big for me, and I used to check the closets every night to make sure no one was in the house. You know, was so, it? Was uh, it really? Are you, I'm like that guy too. I'll yeah, check it was, double it was lock. Too, it was too big. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. It was a lovely place. Yeah. So um, I lived there for I guess close to two years. I can't remember. I guess I was doing a lot of traveling and spending time in other parts of the world. So I left that house. You know. And, what year? Uh, what year were you living? What, do you remember offhand what year that was that you were living there? The house? Well, I, I I I was there, 66, 67, 68, something like that. Around there, okay. Yeah, between the guest house and the main house, and um, uh, and and the way I got the horrible news, uh, I was sitting with a friend of mine, Charlotte Starbird, who had helped me, who had done wardrobe for me on some you know Vegas appearances and things like that she was a good friend and I was visiting her and the news was on in a scene described by one investigator as reminiscent in all my years I have never seen anything like this before and uh, we're listening to the news and then we hear this and then there was a helicopter shot of the house and that's when I recognized that house I can't tell you how horrible it was to see that it was just awful uh and i remember thinking if if there was a any kind of a posse of who, who could find these people they would have been dead on the spot it was mm -hmm. it was it, it, the outrage in, in 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 the city everywhere was just phenomenal jay sebring was i i i used to go to jay for my hair he was incredible were you yeah. friends with jay I wasn't a friend. I was a client. A client of his. Uh, of, his of his, yeah. He, 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 cut, he was the best. He really he, was. What a, just, terrible, what a terrible I had, story. I had met her a few times. Beautiful um, actress. Beautiful oh, lady. Yeah. Oh, wow. She was ridiculously beautiful. I mean, she was perfect, you know. And uh, uh, I, I met her, you know, um, you know, it's funny you kind of meet people in unexpected ways but uh she had she and her husband had a house a big house that was Mary I can't remember whose house it was on on Pacific Coast Highway mm -hmm. and uh, uh she had a, a friend a guy, he was a, a, a writer for one of the movie magazines and I was invited to go with him to just visit her one day and she was not, she was darling. She was so, she, was, she said, why don't you stay overnight? Come on, don't draw, draw the way. So we stayed overnight as well. She was gracious. She was sweet. She, I, I remember her at the uh, Acapulco Film Festival in 1968, because I went, I went to that too, and she was there. But wow. my point is, uh, wow. But uh, it, it's, unspeakable it's unspeakable yeah. i mean yeah. and then how crazy you know a couple of years before you were living there so it just it gives you those chills because it but you know yeah and also the the ran, randomness of it all who happened to be living there at that time because my understanding was that terry that uh, manson kind of knew terry melcher and was hoping for kind of a record deal or something mm -hmm. like that so he kind of had it in for the house crazy story yeah. But um, supposedly Manson went to the house looking for Terry and met Sharon and, and, and Sharon chased him away. 
but that oh. that was the whole story but it's it's a terrible thing could it could have happened to anybody that was living there at that time that's right yeah. that's that's what's so scary about this story yeah you I know, know. Yeah. It could have, so it's yeah. and there's a whole list of people that were on a hit list that supposedly Manson yeah. was going to go after yeah sinatra now who messes with sinatra you make yeah. a list you read that <laughs> sentence right there yeah but it's just a crazy but, but i of course i remember that i thought how how fun on the inside I remember the beans and i remember all that stuff you remember what it looked like inside you had the beans in the living room yeah and, yeah uh, oh, yeah and uh and I, I, you know, since, you know, when those girls have come up for parole and that kind of thing. They've been just there. recently, one of yeah. them, I just saw in the news. I, I, in in my heart, no matter how, how they moved on and become bitter or better people or something like that, it's hard to forgive that. It's yeah. just a yeah. terrible, terrible, terrible story. But I, yeah, I didn't, I was curious about that. I didn't know you, you lived in the house, which is wild, which, you know, it's wild to knock down the house. And the, the producer, I think, of Full House ended up buying in that house. They were, the comedian Bob Saget just passed away, TV show Full House, and he okay. passed away. And they, they had a memorial at the house. And now I think the house, they knocked it down and they rebuilt this whole new thing. And it's sure. up for sale now again. The, well, yeah. place is up for sale. But um, yeah, there's a little history for everybody on YouTube. That was George Jacaris, and this is his book, My West Side Story, a memoir. All those stories are in this book, and if you want to find it, check out links in our description down below. And if you want to see more episodes like this, click on the box right over there. Until then, kids, we love you. Now get out of here, crazy kids. It's coming.